Hello, and welcome back to 365 Days with MXM Tune, but with a twist. I'm Maya, a singer, songwriter, video maker, and Oakland native. I'm also a huge fan of history. I love untold stories, gross facts, hidden secrets, anything weird, dark, and funky from the past. This month, we have some very special episodes. Each week, one of my friends will be taking over the podcast to share their favorite deep cuts with you. This week's host is Ricky Montgomery, who you may recognize from songs like Mr. Loverman or Line Without a Hook. Just a quick note for this episode, we will be discussing eating disorders. So if you don't want to listen, that's totally fine. We'll see you tomorrow. It's 365 with Ricky Montgomery. New facts every day, so don't leave too soon. I'm gonna teach you stuff. No, it won't be tough. Gonna go a year till you've had enough. It's 365. On this day in 2015, France outlawed the hiring of models who did not meet a certain body mass index minimum for a specific period of time before and during a modeling job. The law aims to prevent the promotion of anorexia among both models and people who aspire to look like them. In the modeling industry, eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia are disproportionately common. When scientists surveyed 85 models at the New York Fashion Week in 2017, they found that over 62% of those models had been asked to lose weight or change their body in some way. 54% had been told that if they didn't lose weight, it would have negative impacts on their career. This raises the stakes even higher. It can feel like your career and your livelihood are at stake if you don't meet unattainable beauty standards. So something needed to change. No matter what industry you work in, no one is capable of doing their best work if they're not taking proper care of their health. Many models are already deemed to be below a healthy weight according to their body mass index, or BMI. And among any people of any size, the pressure to lose weight can have negative effects both physically and mentally. This is why countries like Spain, Italy, and France have taken action to make sure that models don't drop below a certain BMI. Their health depends on it. In France, if modeling agencies are found to break these new standards, they can be fined up to 75,000 euros or even spend six months in jail. These laws are just one potential solution for fixing this crisis in the modeling industry. But it's worth noting that the BMI itself has a flawed history. Agencies like the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, and the World Health Organization use BMI because it's so widespread. And it's so easy for people to calculate on their own. You just need your height and your weight to run the formula. But weight, and by extension, BMI, is just one indicator of one's health, and not, of course, the only indicator. In fact, the person who invented BMI was a mathematician, not a doctor, nor a public health expert. So some critics worry whether or not these BMI-based legislations are the best way to support models' health. Still, It's much better than nothing. These laws are designed not only to protect models, but also to protect the people who look up to models and aspire to be like them. It shouldn't be shocking news to learn that the media impacts our body image and that people are more likely to feel negatively about their own bodies when the media only celebrates specific, unattainable body types. Over the years, many companies like Airy, CVS, Dove, Mod Cloth, Seventeen Magazine, and Target have agreed to stop editing out what they deem to be imperfections on photos of their models. This is a step in the right direction, but it's hard not to wonder if it's just a marketing ploy uh, rather than a positive trend that's here to stay. Aries sales spiked after they announced they would no longer be airbrushing models, but hey, if money can motivate corporations to act more ethically and stop promoting unrealistic beauty standards, I guess that's what works. In 2017, France took these laws a step further. Now, any airbrushed edited images of models and advertisements must come with a disclaimer. The former Minister of Health, Marisol Touraine, was inspired to take this action because in France, over 600,000 people suffer from eating disorders. In the United States, that number is even greater. About 30 million Americans suffer from an eating disorder at some point in their lives. As a direct response to this new law in France, Getty Images decided to stop using retouched photos of models as well. 
I'm personally hopeful that as the years go by, more and more companies will make a commitment to stop promoting unrealistic beauty standards in their ads, but the best way to fight this is to be kinder to ourselves and to each other. If you're struggling with an eating disorder, reach out to a trusted friend, family member, or doctor. You're not alone. The National Eating Disorders Association Helpline is 1-800-931-2237. And if phone calls aren't your thing, that's no problem. They have an online chat at nationaleatingdisorders.org where you can receive support and guidance about treatment. And now for today's music fact, we have a special music guest, Wallace, here to talk about an April 3rd in their life. Hey, my name is Wallace, and April 3rd is an important day to me because it's my birthday. And especially this year, I'm turning 23, which when I was little, I always felt like 23 was such a grown-up age. Like, maybe I'd be married by now, or at least have, like, my own apartment with my friends or something. But I'm not married, and I feel way too young to get married, and I still live with my mom, which is completely fine. And especially after this last year, I was really hard on myself for not hitting these like goals that I wanted to hit. But I'm realizing now that I am finally 23. It's important to live and appreciate that weird in-between time and feeling that comes with growing up. Um, I'm hoping this next year is a little bit more exciting. Um, I have a new song coming out in a couple days called Hey Michael. And my last release for a song called 23 that I wrote about all those experiences I was talking about Um, came out a couple months ago and I hope you guys stream it and thank you Maya for having me thanks for going back in time with me and remember to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts come back tomorrow for more stories from the past it's 365 with Ricky Montgomery new facts every day so don't leave too soon i'm gonna teach you stuff no it won't be tough gonna go a year till you've had enough it's three